So I uploaded a video yesterday and apparently there are still people who think 40 gigabit versus 48 of the C9 is a downgrade. So in this video I'm yet again gonna explain why 48 is not gonna be used and why it's not a downgrade. I'm gonna talk about how bit depth works and what the difference is between 10 bit and 12 bit. Enjoy the video. So we all know the C9 and the CX have 10 bit panels, right? But with the maximum of 48 gigabit on the C9, it could output 12 bit. But what is 12 bit? What's the difference between 12 and 10 bit? So the thing is, people keep saying 12 bit is more colors, better colors. Uh, this is not the case because 12 bit means it has more shades of colors. So more shades of blue, more shades of red. So when you see a picture of blue going to light blue, the transition between light blue is going to be smoother. Uh, why? Because 12-bit has more shades of blue. So let's take a look at this picture. Going from left to right, the triangle represents 8, 10 and 12-bit. So what you will notice, the more bits is the bigger the triangle gets, right? Um, you see at 8-bit, uh, it's a pretty small triangle versus the 12-bit. So does 12-bit give more colors than 10-bit? And the answer is no. You're gonna get more shades of colors. So what this basically does is uh, we, have this, we have the same colors on all three pictures, right? So the triangle shows how many shades of color it can get from that color gamut. So 12-bit gets more shades of colors versus 10-bit. So this will give you a smoother transition between colors um, going from red to blue, going from blue to light blue. So a smoother transition means less banding. But what is banding? So banding is the line between, uh, between the transition of two colors. So let's take this picture for example. So banding is noticeable on the left picture, right? This is the transition between going from black to red. You can see the lines between black and red. On the right it's completely smooth. Those lines are called banding. The picture on the right is 12 bit. And why does it have no banding? Like I explained in a previous picture, you get more shades of colors. So in this picture it got more shades of red and more shades of black. Making the transition between red and black way smoother than the picture on the left. So let's talk about brightness and how brightness affects the color shades. So it's pretty simple, you need brightness to see colors, right? The more brightness, the more shades of color you can see on your screen. So for example, if you have a very light color of blue, if you have a dark screen, you won't see that color. So you need to pump up the brightness to see the actual light blue. So the more shades of colors you have, the more brightness you need. So you won't see any of those billion shades if you don't have brightness on your TV. So how many brightness do I need to see 12-bit colors? <laughs> Let me tell you, that's a lot of brightness. You need to have at least 10,000 nits on your TV to see no banding on 12-bit colors. So 10,000 nits is required to see all the shades of colors of 12-bit. So now that you know how color depth works and 10 and 12-bit, Let's go back to the C9. So because of the bandwidth of 48 on the C9, uh, the C9 is capable of outputting 12 bits of colors. So we all know how many nits the C9 has, right? Um, I also explained how many nits you need to actually see all the shades of 12 bit. So the C9 has 740 nits, uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Uh, what you need for 12-bit is 10,000 nits to see all the shades of colors and to see no banding. So will the C9 benefit of 12-bit? The answer is no. Will the C9 benefit of 48 gigabits? The answer again is no. I mean the C9 doesn't even get close to 10,000 nits um, to see any extra shades of the 12-bit. You know, the CX, the C9, uh, Sony, all these OLEDs are through 10-bit panels. And 10-bit is enough. I mean, why do you need 12-bit? 
most of the games are still 8-bit and you know at the most 10-bit and this is what I said in my previous video um, people always want the higher numbers you know they see the TV that has more bandwidth than the newer model so they think hey this TV got way more bandwidth so it's way better <sighs> that's just not how it works and to be honest 12-bit panels um, you know that's gonna take years um, you know we should be happy that we can play 4k at 120 hertz 444 on you know the c9 and the cx so let me tell you this again the c9 and the cx are both great tvs just because the c9 has more bandwidth doesn't mean it's better it's not gonna be used those extra 8 gigabits are not gonna be used so in a nutshell 10 and 12 bit 12 bit is more shades of colors it doesn't mean more colors or better colors so more shades of colors means a smoother transition between colors so this also means less banding so what you need for 12 bit is 10,000 nits of brightness to actually see any of those shades you know to see a smoother gradient um, more shades of blue red any color so just keep that in mind when you're looking at 10 and 12 bit so anyways thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one